Hey guys, welcome back to my video. Now in this video I'm going to show you how you can actually do boot an iOS 6 version or iOS 5 version even onto your old 32-bit jailbroken device. So here is um, iOS 6.0 running on the iPhone 4 CDMA version. So this is a CDMA Sprint iPhone and it's running 6.0. As you can see right there, and this is courtesy to an app, a uh, jailbreak app called Coolbooter. Now this uses uh, a few things like uh, Kloader and other stuff that I don't actually quite know exactly what it does. But pretty much it uses Kloader and some other things um, to install or do a boot, um, to do boot two versions of iOS on the same device. So in today's video I'm going to show you how you can actually do boot it uh, with Coolbooter. I'm going to show you the full process of installing Coolbooter and how it works. <laughs> of Coolbooter that are actually currently available. There's Coolbooter CLI or Command Line Interface, and there's also Coolbooter, an app that you can download or uh, have on your device that um, basically you don't have to use a terminal for. But uh, in today, in this video, I'm not going to be showing you this interface. However, I'm just going to do a sneak preview here. Uh, this is what you would download from the Cydia uh, repo that I'll leave down below in the description. Uh, that's the one you're going to need for both of these files. Uh, but pretty much in this uh, GUI, you'll just click install and it'll basically allow you to select which version you want up to 7.1.2. So you can basically do it with the same version or iOS 7.0 or 6.0. Now, this doesn't allow you to install iOS 5, uh, which the command line interface does allow you to do, so that's what I'm going to be showing you guys today in this video. So in order to get started, we're just going to open up Cydia, so you're going to require a jailbroken device for this video. Obviously, because without a jailbreak, this is not going to be possible uh, to do a boot, since this uses Kloader. Once we have to load up Cydia, if we go into the Sources tab, we're going to need to add this source right here, so edit add as you usually know how to add a source um, you're gonna need to add coolbooter.com a link down below in the description if you want to add that uh, but uh, we're gonna go into the uh, repo here and we're also gonna go into system and we're gonna get it, uh, to install this coolbooter CLI package right here uh, if we click install right here just uh, wait until that does it click continue queuing and then go down into the search tab and just search for mobile terminal this is the one you should uh, download, version 520-2, or maybe a newer version if there's a newer one out. But click Install, and click Continue, and uh, this should install uh, both the terminal and the command line interface on your onto your device. And after the installation has completed, of course, you're going to click Return to Cydia, and then just exit out of Cydia. And then we're going to find this app called Terminal. If, if the Terminal app does not show up on your home screen, just restart your device or respring your device. But we're just going to go into Terminal. Once we're inside a terminal, we're going to type su, su, and click return on the keyboard. Um, this has an iOS 6 keyboard for some reason. I don't know why. I noticed that yesterday. But uh, the password for su is alpine. That's the default password for iOS. Anyway, once we've done that, we're just going to type coolbooter cli. So coolbooter command line interface cli. And uh, next thing we're going to do is we're going to do um, type the version that you actually want to install. Now, keep in mind, uh, iOS 4... Uh, support is not quite added right now. Um, the lowest firmware that you can actually install is iOS 5. Um, I've tried iOS 5.0 on this device. This is a 3.3 CDMA iPhone 4 and it didn't work so I'm just going to try 5.1.1 on this device. So then you click return on your keyboard and it's going to go through this uh, stage right here. Now at this point it's going to download the IPSW for the firmware that you have selected. If uh, the firmware that you selected is not compatible with a device such as like iOS 8 for the iPhone 4 or iOS 3 for the iPhone 4 or even iOS 4 because that's not supported, um, it's going to give you an error but uh, if you don't get any errors at this stage, um, just wait until the firmware version downloads. Make sure you don't exit out of mobile terminal otherwise it'll just quit out of this and you'll have to restart your device and basically restart this whole thing over and over again until it finally works. Um, also, make sure you don't turn off your device and just try to keep the screen um, alive if you don't have uh, auto lock set to never by like swiping it every few minutes or something. Alright, so after quite a bit of time, uh, installation has succeeded as you can see right here. So once you have installed your iOS version, obviously you want to test it out. Just to prove that I'm not on the iOS version yet, I'm on iOS 7 right now. If we go back into terminal, um, this is how you would normally boot up. So let's say you start up your iPhone. Um, in order to start up the other OS, you're first going to have to do the Sue thing in order to gain privileges, so Alpine, Sue Alpine. And after you've done that, we're just going to do Coolbooter CLI, and then you're going to do dash B for boot. Um, after you've done that, just click uh, return, and then it's going to say prepare to boot, so just lock your device. Alright, so it's been about roughly 10 seconds after, so now we're going to press the power button. 
just once, and we're gonna see. So the backlight has just came on on the device. I don't know if you, I don't know if you guys can see. Uh, probably not because it's fairly dim. But here you go. We have all the verbose text. Now this is how you know that your device has succeeded booting. It's kind of bright. <laughs> so, so once you see all this text on your device, that's scrolling text. This is verbose booting, basically into iOS. Uh, you'll know that you have succeeded partially. Um, and just wait until uh, it basically loads up. So the verbose text is kind of a replacement for the Apple logo, so you could see exactly if things go wrong.